can see. Subframe is out. There it is. So now I'm just going to work on actually taking out the tank. So I'm just going to move. I'm actually going to go home, get a light, come back, move everything out the way, and start disconnecting the actual tank itself. I'm going to leave the suspension right there so at least I can close the door. Okay, so we're underneath the car as you can see. We're starting on the gas tank. So I'll walk you through what you need to know in order to get this job done. So, yeah, underneath the car, first thing you have to do is this bolt right here. This will hold the feed line into the tank. I normally just separate it here. It's a 10 millimeter and just pry this plastic off this metal tube. Once that's done, you can just work around the other ends and drop those lines. I took off these little straps because you need to. I may have done them a little prematurely, but eh, it's okay. off. Now we move on to the others. As you can see there's this one is a vent. Just gotta take that off and basically all those the holes that are connected to this side just gotta take them off. Okay so I'm taking the gas tank out. I am starting by taking off this small hose. supposed to happen okay so to stop my little fuel leak problem I just shoved the 14 millimeter bolt into the line and basically nothing is coming out I took off the top line so now I'm just gonna lower the tank a little bit to see what else is connected and to get out okay so as you can see this is connected and it's connected on the top of the tank I think that's a 14 or 17. So, hmm. Guess I just loosen it from here. And that looks like it's gonna be a pain. Looks rusty as shit. Please don't go this way. I'm gonna get it down. space this is the I think this is the vent for the charcoal canister which I believe is underneath this cover so I just gotta take that line off and I could get to the ones at the top of the tank which I believe is a 14 or 17 One down. It's coming. so there we go remember the line we disconnected earlier that's it right there. So it seems as I have to go back up there. Actually no. Just disconnect the secondary line from on top of the fuel pump. Which is right there. Okay, so as you can see, that's the line we disconnected from sorry, that's the line we disconnected from above the seat. I was hanging down. There's a nice connection right here, that little white connector on top of the fuel pump. Basically, that's just a clip right down there on the ground. You just plug it, move it off. That's it. Now I'm just going to take off the 17 on top. And then that should allow me to just literally slide the whole tank out. Okay, so, that's the little light I was using that's moving around. It was connected to that bar that disconnected it. It's pretty bright, a little LED bulb. So there you go, come on my flashlight, goes everywhere. So like I was saying, take that 17 off, and then that's it. We're going to be able to drop this whole tank out.
tank is basically down. I just realized that you could actually, we had enough slack to actually drop the, the whole tank down on the ground. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Drop the whole thing and then we'll worry about the rest. So guys, <laughs> we're just gonna take the tank out. All the lines are disconnected. Just gonna pull it out. Got a little bit of fuel in here. I think this is that good stuff, that premium. So, let's go see. That's a whole gas tank. The first side over there, by the light, that's the fuel sender. The ones over here is a fuel pump. And that's it. So that's how you take a gas tank down. If you want, you could just pull those out, change the fuel pump. There's going to be a fuel pump hanger. And that's basically it. So it took me about just BSing about half an hour. Stop lying, about an hour. But yeah, for those who have never seen it, this is what the underside of your car looks like. And you remove the gas tank. So, yeah.